we're live. And we're live. Yay. Hello. Welcome back to Green Bee Explorer and Left Lane Finds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love your intros. Oh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> so what, what are we talking about? So I'm here today. I was at the Goodwill Bins and I went there uh, three different times and found a bunch of very unique Oh, <laughs> oh <whoops. laughs> we had to mute that. <laughs> oh my goodness, where's the mute button? Mute, right, right here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. We, we had a second laptop going there. So, um, so yes, I went to the Goodwill bins three different times, and I found a lot of good items that I wanted to show to you today. We're not selling. We're just showing you what I was able to find, uh, some of the reasons I picked them up, and some of the reasons um, I thought they would be a unique possible sell in the future. So, yeah, so we are here to flip for profit. <laughs> and when you go to the bins, um, you get it for really cheap. Yes. So what, how much? Of in, in this case, when I went to the bins, they charge you $1.29 per pound uh, for your items. So they have a small scale if you just get a few items or if you get a whole cart full, they literally have the cart scaled out that it um, tears the cart and then you weigh out the items that you picked out, whether it's clothing or uh, ceramics um, and continuing on from there. <laughs> I love that because um, a lot of the bins, um, I've been to the bins in Pennsylvania and um, I've been to the same bins that she just went to. And then um, was there another one? Oh no, I'm I'm planning on going to another one. But the one in Pennsylvania, oh, we need our chat up. We can't see our. Oh, why have it so right have... here? Oh, hello, oh, yeah. Tommy. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> Welcome so... to our, our live chat. So... <laughs> so we get it up there. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> so so welcome, Tom. <laughs> Tommy. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, we appreciate it. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> Tommy, I'm the one who, I'm Dina, who's always in your live chats with uh, you and Tracy. Yeah. And she, I don't, so she, I was <laughs> supposed to be hosting this, but unfortunately I had some technical, technical difficulties. Yeah. Not, not yeah. a good day. <laughs> she, couldn't, she has to wait the 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> from live stream we thought we had it set up from a while ago but we never completed the process and then she tried to complete it today and now she's got to wait so yeah. tom have you ever been to the goodwill or goodwill bins oh yeah he's he's a okay. he's a reseller too oh okay. um so just so you know um tom um has a uh, weekly or maybe even a couple times a week but at least a weekly live show with Tracy, him and Tracy, and like all these people, all these resellers come in and we chat for hours and hours and hours. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wow. You've never done it because you have to get oh. up so early for work. Right. Yeah. <laughs> work doesn't allow me. I, my schedule's a little tight. So that's why you don't see me uh, on YouTube as often, or there might be a gap or two um, in videos I'm able to post. Yeah. But um, I still really enjoy it. It's, it's a fun <laughs> hobby. Um, but yes, he, he agrees about the 24 hours that it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> right. The pain in the butt. Um, there, um, we, just so you know, we don't get a lot of people to these, um, live streams cause we're pretty small channels, but, um, uh, we do get a lot of view, views. I guess yeah. I do. Um, we were trying to schedule it on her channel, Green Bee Explorer mm -hmm. until we got, <laughs> we had a glitch. So <laughs> we got glitched up, but, um, Let's just get. Yeah, start, I, I thought we would get, get started. In, let's get into it. So I'm gonna grab. Uh, so this I found was a needlepoint. It's of an autumn uh, pump, uh, pumpkins and apple pickings. Um, I just thought this was really cute. Um, so the frame is a little bit aged and yeah. tattered, but I would probably reframe that. Uh, I just I I loved it. Uh, this is the kind of item that um, if. I would I would put in the description because you can actually send it without the frame and make it cheaper to right, send. Right. And so you give the the buyer like the option to do that. Um, so some of what we pick up is different from what a lot of other we do the vintage. We 
like both her and I, we pick up vintage items and we pick up fashion items and then... Right. And I, and some items, I, I'm into, well, I'll tell you some, as we show you some of my items, they, they're also related to my hobbies and those I can talk on a little bit more. So right. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm already like trying to spoil everything. Yeah, yeah. She's got some things right. on the floor here. Um, yeah. yeah. So, but this I thought, you know, I, I saw a lot of YouTubes, they're doing collabs now. Some of, in this case, and if it was an autumn collab, this would be a great item just to have off, you know, yeah. off. And, yeah, yeah. Um, so I might, oh, it's tough. I might hold on to you it. You know what else somebody might do with this is paint that frame too. Oh, or, that's Or you true. can take it out and you can cover the frame, you know, like in some right. sort of, um, like a lot of the other channels that we follow, the female channels have, they have DIY craft things or how do you upsell something that you found thrifted and things like that right so that's why we pick up items like this so obviously this was really light i would think you probably paid about 20 cents for oh that. not even like, that yeah, it's 20 so cents <laughs> like it's a dollar 29 a pound i know like, like this maybe is maybe 15 is cents she might have paid for that right so yeah um and if it was me i would probably paint the frame actually like that light uh like pumpkin uh Orange, like orange? Yeah, yeah, the orange, just to make everything yeah, else yeah. pop. Yeah, but that's just me. If I had a chance to paint it, yeah. I'll put this. Oh, yeah, do you yeah. want to say no? No, put oh, it okay. down there, and then let's get the next idea. Yeah. So, oh, let's see. Um, does it begin? No one oh. does in the beginning. Just take some have fun. Oh yeah, right. yeah, we know. I've been doing. I I I do live chats all the time. I did one um, the other night that I started at two thirty in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> because I was I was watching somebody else's live chat and um, she she kept saying she was going to end it and then she kept talking and talking so we just all just kept hanging out and chatting with her and I was like yeah but I know that there's West Coast people and um, so they're up so much later uh, than us East Coast people um, and uh, so I ended up doing it from two thirty to four thirty in the morning and it wasn't a lot of us. But I had a lot of views afterwards, <laughs> so I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> so another question um, you had was where do we get where we sell? We're in Great, you know, Michigan. Oh, so oh no, it, yeah, I think it means like eBay and like so I sell. Oh, on, oh yeah, yeah, I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. And I'm I'm just on eBay right now. I. And Facebook Marketplace? Yeah, yeah, have, Facebook Marketplace. Well, you buy stuff from there, but you haven't really sold That's stuff. That's true. I, I buy stuff, and I, I fill my house with furniture. <laughs> <laughs> my weakness is furniture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, you can only have so many couches. No, <laughs> I don't collect couches. But, right, um, so, sure. so my next item is, I thought this was really nice. It's an iron cross. Um, it looks like, this seems more like a modern piece. But it's, um, it's definitely or, it's a tri it's a trivet but or, or trivet it's, it's a trivet and it has, it has the both. hanging hardware. You yeah. can hang it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there we go. You can yeah. hang it or just use it like she said as a trivet. She has the little feet right here. So I just thought that was really nice. And a lot of homes I do see people uh, decorating with these iron pieces, uh, whether they're crosses or other shapes. This is uh, this is right up my alley. I have <laughs> so much of this type of you know at southern southern living sold a lot of and this is probably it's not marked though but it it looks identical to like a lot of the southern living uh, metal um hardware the wrought iron type of hardware that they would sell that you would put up around i have so much of it uh, that was such the thing back when mm -hmm. <laughs> like like in the 20 years ago, maybe <laughs> like in the early 2000s anyways. Right, right. So I, so what she does when she goes to the bins is we coordinate. So she so, says, I'm heading in. <laughs> do, you, do you have some time? Like, do you have an hour? Yeah. So once I get there, I'll look at a few items. I'm like, Ooh, if I'm not sure about it, I'll send her a photo. I'm like, Ooh, should I get the red or the purple one? You know, or and, is this a good item or, or is not? This, or, you know, <laughs> is this a good item? Do you find it yet? Uh, so we end up doing that, and it's a lot of fun because we'll just text message back. Oh no, no, no! Yes, yes, yes! You're like, oh yeah, it's, yes, it's no, yes, no. And right. Then sometimes she tries <laughs> to put stuff back, and I won't let her. Right. She's like, no, no, no! Don't put it back. Like, yeah. I'm like, so, why would you put that back? <laughs> um, we even, we even, um, uh, you know, I gotta get. He has a question really quick. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so he's asking. All right, you're asking if we uh, calculate um, free or free, flat rate. Free or flat rate. What do you so, so she does her so eBay for me, completely I, different than I, I do. try and calculate that 
um, I can give the buyer almost like free shipping or almost free shipping. Like I'll only charge a very small rate um, or calculate my cost into my shipping. So, uh, so when you list the item, does it say free shipping on eBay? Almost all of my Ebays, I try and make it a free shipping uh, for the... Or do, you, or do you put like a flat rate in there uh, sometimes? So yes, I do mostly free for uh, the person who's purchasing. It's free. Sometimes I put a flat rate, maybe it's $2, $3, just to cut my cost of shipping as well. Yeah. There's only a few items that if they're super heavy and I know it's going to hurt me shipping wise, then I might calculate it just based, you know, the weight of it, then use calculated shipping. Calculated the shipping. Um, so you also allow offers on yours too? Yes. Like you put in you put in a price. Right. And I you allow put... people to, to give me offers. And if they're reasonable offers, you know, for the most part, I accept them. If they're really trying to only pay for the shipping, then I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah, no. there's no chance for me to, you know, even <laughs> make a you make know, dollar profit. or two. So I'm like, yeah. I usually will deny those, but yeah. <laughs> she's, it been, depends. she's been able to, to find, um, she was working in, um, uh, Missouri. She yes. was in Missouri. Oh, that was the other bins you used to get. Yes. I couldn't think. Yeah, there was there was Missouri bins, so which she... I was able to go to, and that that was a lot of fun. But what ended up happening was I would, you know, I just winged it the first time, and I posted a few items on Facebook Marketplace, and that ended up being being my my best place to sell. It it was she was living in a hotel for work, <laughs> she, so they had to meet her at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, or yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which worked out fine. <laughs> yeah. They're like what, a hotel. I'm like, yeah, it was kind of weird. Well, on top of all, it depended. So sometimes I'm like, oh, let's meet at like a grocery store, you know, somewhere <laughs> less. Because, yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's do another. Item. All right. You want to do this one? Yeah, I'll do this one. So for all of you who are still into the Christmas spirit, I got, of course, <laughs> my ugly I, sweater my ugly sweater so i'll bring this a close-up uh there we go so ugly sweater i just loved this because it had such a fun you know scene so she, on it she's and keeping the, that i i am keeping this but you know what it feels you know it's pro obviously not no these are it, not good brands these, these are not <laughs> i don't even no think no that no they're good no brands. no no i mean it's it's a nice heavy weight so I would say it's more on the quality side. Um, I don't. It's know. definitely something to look for if you're going to go to the bins. I don't know what this brand is. I don't know if it's a good brand or not. Anyone who's I on don't think so. right now, like <laughs> I don't think so. You know, people can always talk about it. So, yeah. oh, <laughs> she keeps nudging me, and I keep nudging her. Like, like stop talking. Um, but yes, this is definitely going to be my my pretty ugly sweater <laughs> for. Uh, so. All right, well, we're done but, with that. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Let's go to the next item here. All right. So, oh, so to answer your question, Tommy, for my shop, I, um, I've been listening to a lot of the advice from your show for sure. And anybody who's watching the replay on this, please go over to Tommy Bernard's uh, channel and subscribe to his channel. And, um, Oh, well, thank you. Oh, Tommy sent you. Hi, Yakov Benz. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming over. Hello. Um, thank you for joining. Yeah. So um, I've learned a lot from you guys talking about how calculated shipping can really hurt you on eBay mm -hmm. because of how you do it, whether it's the measurements or the weights you're putting in. And and let's say you're on the East Coast, like I'm in Michigan, but I'm shipping to California and how that can affect you. So I've been systematically going through um my almost 200 listings on uh, eBay and changing them <laughs> to free shipping or I put a flat rate shipping in um, there. I still have items out there. I, I, my new stuff, I do it a certain way now. Um, and then the old ones I'm going back and editing and editing them. And, yeah. Once, uh, so, once, once yeah. a while I'll be swinging you a text like, wait, is this what, is this what California yeah. costs? Like, yeah. Or is this, you know, Washington or, how, then, how's, how much is Alaska or Hawaii? <laughs> yeah, and then in Etsy, what I do, well, Etsy has a, a thing where um, any orders over $35, they well, you can opt into this. You can opt out of it, too, but I'm opted into it. Any orders over $35 are free shipping. So you got to think about that when you're pricing your items because mm -hmm. everything I put over there on Etsy is 
is um, vintage. And so I have to think about, well, if they bought three vintage items, and I've had people do that to me, buy three vintage items, they get the free shipping on that. So I have to build a little bit of shipping cost into my cost of the item. So if they just are buying it individually, I have flat shipping rates, either $6 or $8 on the item, um, just so that I kind of cover myself. And on top of that, I also run sales over there. So my prices in Etsy are completely different than my prices on eBay for the exact same item because I do cross post them. Mm -hmm. So, right. and um, then, so. <laughs> all right. Unless you pass a discount to us, it makes it much better on eBay. It doesn't have that on by default. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Uh, so let's share this one. So, I love this. Okay. I <laughs> this saw this <laughs> and I fell in love with it. It's actually a fabric of Paris, Bonjour, Paris. Um, and it just has some really cute. It's all your, it's very feminine yes, fabric. <laughs> very, fe very feminine. But I thought it was a very fun fabric. And I, I like to sew, so this most likely will be one of my projects. Um, I think it's about two yards of fabric, if not more. Uh, oh, so I thought you were, oh, I didn't realize you got that for yourself. Ah. Maybe. Uh -huh. I uh, that, when I saw that, I was like, oh, that'll sell really fast okay, on eBay. True. This could be a possible resell, too. I'll, I'll, look, <laughs> at, I'll look at all my projects I have to do, so, do so, go um work on so far but maybe maybe this will be a resell uh, <laughs> you, when when we when you source things you're not supposed to keep everything because otherwise they call that speak of this <laughs> all right are this here, so, here, this, here. here we'll show this next okay time. for <laughs> for the gentleman we have a vest for um it's for a suit suit and jacket yeah yeah so a vest for a suit it's and a jacket black vest black vest um i just thought it was a really nice it says made in mexico up here made i'm still not showing you it sorry um made in mexico um and I, when she first showed this to me, I was like, oh, a black vest, that, that can't sell very well. Looked them up on eBay, and they comp out pretty, for what we got at the bins price, right. getting, that's a nice return. So that so, is definitely something we're going to sell. Right. This is a size, let me see really quick. Now, she told me that everything she found at the bins was going to be for me to resell on mine. Like, I'm, she paid for the <laughs> stuff. And then I get to sell it. And then she gets the profits. And I keep the profits now. <laughs> now I, so I pay her. I pay her. Minus anything she's keeping for herself now that I know right. she's keeping stuff for herself. So this is <laughs> this is an extra large um, in size. So still have to. Oh, here. This is what you, it's made in Mexico. But this is the oh, brand. Oh, that's the name. Yeah. Not the. So this is why we got it. Is that Stafford. it was a Stafford. There we go. Yeah. I knew there was a, a label somewhere. It says Tailored Culture. Stafford. Yeah, so that's the label that made in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that it's like, that's like showing everybody, oh, it's made in China. It's right. made in Taiwan. <laughs> so I knew, yeah, I knew yeah. it was somewhere. Yeah, but. so because of the name, that's why I told her to pick it up. Um, that might be a slow sell, not sure because her... Oh, hello, Primrose. Oh, hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hi, Primrose. Um I'm glad you could make it. I know you told me uh, earlier on uh, Instagram that you would be running late, but <laughs> you're only like a few minutes late. I thought you meant like an hour late. <laughs> okay. So oh, no, let's do another. Oh, you want, oh, you want to do that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here's another one. I thought this was just a really nice uh, men's. Men's, men's shirt. Uh, men's. Um, so this one is a U.S. polo associate. Uh, Association. For yeah. a second there, I was going to say assassination. What? I you can't say that kind of stuff. That's, that's no. Wrong. All right. Don't listen to her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of, she can't read. Um. So yes, you so can it's see yellow, that. yellow and navy, and so it's size extra extra large. But I just thought it was a really nice. Um. When I when I was going through the bins and I was feeling some of the fabrics. This one uh, I accidentally like pulled and it just stood out to me. I'm like, wow, it's really, 
it has a really nice feel to it so it, it felt like a really good quality yeah. so that's why i ended up grabbing this one um but yeah i'm just getting I, into yeah. selling more of the men's clothes i just started listing up men's shoes and um this one could be for a family member sorry daddy no, <laughs> no. we're not getting everything oh. for people we know. <laughs> Oh, she's no, a, I'm she doesn't that. want to give anything away now. Okay. No, selling for selling for profit. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So hold on. We'll put a hold on that one. Oh, okay. So okay. Then. So another thing I grabbed was these were actually really nice curtains. They're I thought they had a really nice pattern to them. Oh, and me. Oh, Green Bee Explorer. What shape are these? Honeycomb. <laughs> I mean, I, does that relate to me at all oh and she's got the flowers back yes there my flowers you know my little hive so but yes oh, that's I, what we can call your house the hive the hive <laughs> um oh yeah we're at her house this time yeah yeah so oh, oh. hello far north hi, Life. Far, hi far north, <laughs> north oh my gosh sorry oh. um so yeah i got these curtains and i want to use them as um, I already have curtains up, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them on the left-hand side or right-hand side of my curtains right now. That way I can allow uh, light to come in, but I still get my privacy. Uh, and I actually got two of these. There was two of them together, and they still actually really smell good. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how they could smell good from the bins, but... Amazing. I guess somebody, somebody must have washed them before they went I, in there. I think so. Someone was very, you know, very nice about that. And uh, oh, I thought you were saying no. Ew. No, you, you keep talking. Okay. I'm, good. I'm, just, I'm just typing. I see, I see. <laughs> so, um, all right. So I can't tell if this one is vintage or not, but we got this little ceramic cat. I tried to research the heck out of this, and I am still having trouble finding what this is. So it's a little white ceramic cat, but it has actually a lot of detail in it. Um, let me see the best angle. Oh, I keep going off screen. So it has these nice pink paws. It shows some of its nails. In the eyes, there's little gem or bedazzled, what are they called? They're, like um, bejeweled. Uh, yeah, they're like... Um, shiny yeah little yeah. shiny bejeweled eyes and the face has a lot of detail in it um obviously there would be better photos uh but it says it's either oh, i keep going off camera it says nc 6058a or it's cn i can't tell which is which i researched this and i could not find what this cat was where it was from so I could, she even put it in the a Facebook group uh, to right, help identify. Right, and every and, everyone and, had a different answer, yeah. which I was like, I'm yeah, like, oh, that's they're... not helping me at all. So uh, yeah. um, I don't know that sometimes you can still list an item up like this, and then you can put what you think it might be, like if you think it might be this or that, and and put right. question marks. But somebody might actually, but anyways, recognize I, that. I thought that brand, it was just a really brand. cute ceramic. Um, I I have a puppy dog, but. Uh, for any of those who <laughs> enjoy little cat ceramics, yeah. feeling the ears, they're rough. I can't tell if they're, they're chipped or not. They just, they're, they have a little sharp, but they're still really, they're smooth. So I don't think it's, it could have a tiny bit of damage on it. And, you know, obviously these parts are the hardest to prevent. But um, if anything, it's just very minor little chip. But I still, you know thought it was cute for <laughs> a little ceramic um they were asking when did you go to the bins oh so i went to the bins that was a week week ago or week week and a half ago so it was it was staggered over a few days i went one day and then a few days later went another day it was a total of three days that i visited the bins over a week and a half period so, so I think you I, you can you know list something like that cat without exact the ex details. The I've exact seen people name. do that in eBay, um, although it's probably not the best way to do it. I've seen where people kind of guess what it is mm -hmm. and they put a question mark you know next to what they were right. guessing. But I couldn't find anything like that. But on I think eBay if either. if so, if I was collecting white cats, that's exactly how I would look it up on eBay. I'd be like, you know, ceramic white cats. Right. I'll probably <laughs> yeah. list it as white cat, green eyes. 
Yeah, just green give eyes. A few more, yep, and uh, pink uh, paws. Jewel, jeweled eyes, pink paws. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I was looking up ceramic cats on eBay, and I could not find anything like it. But as detailed as that cat was. The clubhouse is addicting. Is that what you named uh, your shed? <laughs> oh. And Fisa, is that what you named the shed? <laughs> clubhouse is addicting. I need to get to work. Oh. I bet. <laughs> well, thank you for dropping by. Yes, thank you and for joining. And of course, I tell everyone, whoever drops, whoever's in the chat, anybody who's watching this afterwards, please subscribe yes. to everybody's please, channel please join. that's in the chat. <laughs> the, yes. Um, I like to promote because other people have promoted my channel um, mm -hmm. in their chats. And so I do that as well, um, that we should all be one big giant reselling community. Um, and and we'll see how it, where it goes from there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. let's keep going because so there's actually we have a table covered and a few items down at her. Feet. OK, so, so hold on. Not, not that one yet. So I want to do. Oh, okay. oh that's OK. What are you doing? That's OK. How dare you? <laughs> so my next item is I found this uh, little plushy giraffe. It actually says Animal Planet on it. So if you can see that, there we go. I'm starting to get the the camera. Uh, so this I was I don't think I'm gonna resell because I think I'm gonna end up giving it to my puppy dog. Um, I say this resell. No, she needs more toys. She has plenty of <laughs> no. toys, but she's destroying yeah. her toys. So she needs a nice fluffy toy. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. That that won't get destroyed. Um, All I keep hearing is that everything you found depends your keeping. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which she accuses me of when I go sourcing. <laughs> she's the one. No. <laughs> so uh, yes, I I liked this for her, but if we find no, out I, that I, the Animal Planet version of this actually has some value then yes i would consider oh but here's here's her explanation well we might be able to sell it for seven dollars i'm like so then i go buy a dog toy for seven dollars i already have it right here because you know yeah, okay, you're in the store okay. you're in the store once in a while you're like oh that would be perfect for my dog or i'm like i got this for 30 cents can we but show? You, can we show things that we're reselling <laughs> oh okay we all we're technically reselling everything unless we really want it yeah <laughs> All right. So, okay. Fine. Can you, do you want me to get something or? No, I can. Okay. Oh, good. No, oh yeah, yeah. Let's do, okay. Let's do these. All right. So I found a pair of Wolverine boots. They're short ankle boots. These are work boots. Um, now, let me see what size they are. Yeah. If you can find the size. Oh, size eight. So men's eight. Actually, you know what's funny? These are like unisex. If somebody, if somebody wants to, if a woman like si you know, you know, I mean, a size eight, I think is a women's. All right. So yeah, actually, that, that's true. I forget. Men's are, men's are bigger. But yes, men's are bigger. Men's are bigger. So yeah. So like a men's eight would be a women's, I think ten. Nine or ten or something. Yeah, like I think that. it's a yeah. two size difference. So these but don't quote, don't quote me on yeah, that. I think it's a two, two size men's. difference. So these are Wolverines. I looked these up. These are extremely ex expensive uh, boots. And reselling, they have a good value as well. And it says multi-shock so, on that. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, really, and show the tread on that one. That one's the, look at the tread on that. Right. So, so this is really good tread. And when I go to shop, I make sure that, you know, the material is good. It's a, this is an all leather. It still has good tread on it. Um, now we'll start getting into, you know, I I love horses, and these actually make really good riding or paddock boots as well. So that could have been what these were as well, and that's why they could be unisex as paddock or barn or uh, work boots as well. Yeah, or any kind uh, of yeah. So yeah. if these were my size, I would probably take these as paddock boots for myself. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, they're not, and they have a hard toe, so that's always good to have. Oh yeah, they have it's, a steel toe in there. I, I'm not, I don't want to quote that it's a steel toe because that's a different um, type of boot, but it has a hard toe. So steel toes are well, different. Well, you know what? We can just look up um, whether or not that's how they make yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. Built if, a they little... said, if they're advertised as steel toe, then we know what that Right, because that's a different form of protection for your feet. Um, but yes, these are really good boots, and the leather on this is amazing. So, so um, we're, we're expecting to get really good return on this one, and this one we're actually selling. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> yes, yes, we are selling this one. Yeah. If it, like I said, if it fit me, it might not be for sale. <laughs> um, later. 
No, let's oh, do them. All right, all let's right, do now. these now. Okay. So I was talking about how I love horses and you know paddock boots. These are now they're still a little dirty. I had to clean them up. These are Ariat paddock boots uh, or barn boots, and they they're also riding boots. I was just gonna say aren't they riding boots? Yes, too? they're yes they're riding boots, but technically they're called paddock boots at the barn. Uh oh, we're getting laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Scared to go to the bins? Oh yes. So um, I would suggest if you go, if you're going to go to the bins, don't go on um, a very popular time and don't, don't go, go on, on a weekends and don't go on a popular day. Try so, if you so have, a Monday, a Tuesday, or a Wednesday, or probably your slower days. Go then, and she goes so, in the evenings, okay. but you can go so the during big, the day. Big thing to watch out for yeah. is it depends on the every hour they could be switching out bins. And at the bins, people get excited on all rush to one bin when it's a new bin. I don't necessarily, especially now with COVID, I don't do that. Um, I take my time. I let them run, you know, let people get excited, run to the bins. I will go to another bin. It actually gives me that little bit more of a private, you know, private moment. And then I can actually search more detailedly in those bins. And I mm -hmm. actually found stuff much easier. Because when people go in, they find their items, they, they they rummage through, then it becomes more cleared out. That's what I like to do. Um, yes, yes, it is a good riding brute. So I was just uh, gonna get <laughs> yeah, yeah, get out of here. Okay, oh, she won't she's let me, me again. She won't let me. I'm holding the boot, but here, tell, I'm so, trying to show I'm everyone to what it. you're trying to do. I'm holding my own boot. <laughs> So, yeah, so we okay, expect hold on. She's she apparently you're the expert on horses. Go no, ahead. no, no. I was gonna say that's gonna be also a good resale item. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I tried them on, they don't yeah. fit me. Okay, so yeah. the first time, let me talk about my bins real quick. The first time I ever went to the bins, my girlfriend took me to the bins in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And it is a tiny, tiny little goodwill outlet, the bins as they call them. Um, and they have a few bins, like maybe I don't know, six or eight bins that are filled with the hard goods. And it's absolutely just broken junk. Like it, you just walk right past that. Th you wouldn't even look in there for anything. I can't imagine anybody finding anything in there. This is before I started doing vintage and selling a lot of hard goods. I was only into selling fashion goods. So her and I went over to the bins that were just closed. And when she started digging through those, and of course the whole place smells. Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. It so that you had a bad experience. So don't, don't wait don't, a sec. Don't listen to her. No. <laughs> so so wait a sec. So the first time, and she started digging in those bins, and I was like, I can't. I just I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. This was. I was so out of my element. I was like, I wouldn't say scared so much as like it's very off putting. <laughs> right. Exactly. You and, figured it would. And um and then um. I started digging and then I start finding things and she's like, Oh, I found this. I found this. She started putting stuff. She was finding all this stuff and throwing it in her cart. And I was like, Oh my God, like I better get in there. <laughs> and it's, it's true. The first time you go, it's very overwhelming. Yeah. So yeah. it's best to step back and watch other people and then go to a bin by yourself. Even if it, it doesn't look like it has stuff in it. Yeah. Oh, my bins. everybody's looking for different things. Yes. So don't think that there's nothing in a bin because some, if like, Three people walk past that bin. That's the bin you want to be in because right. they might be looking for little kids' clothes. They might be looking for a particular uh, size clothes. Right. And we're resellers. We're not looking for particular yeah. anything so other than good brands. One big thing I recommend is that when you see a box, uh, especially if it's like a board game box, take a chance and open it because sometimes board game boxes or boxes that say uh, toaster on it, there's not actually a toaster in it. People wrapped something else in it. And mm -hmm. a lot of times it's va uh, ceramics and a chance it could be a valuable ceramic. And that's something I'm going to show you in a bit where I opened mm -hmm. up a box. I'm like, oh, that doesn't have what it said it does. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'm going to show you that in a bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, She thought I was grabbing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no. I was, was, <laughs> was going to get in trouble. <laughs> Obviously, we don't get along at all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I, I, am I allowed to get a drink? <laughs> I, I I'm watching you. Yeah. Um. So I, yes. So uh, definitely open up those yeah. boxes. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. I, I I am talking. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> I want to talk. <laughs> so yes. Open up those boxes. Um. Uh, now wait. We had to finish our one item we were talking oh, okay. about. Okay. okay. 
so yes yeah, so you mentioned that Ariats are good boots absolutely if if i go for any kind of paddock or riding boot i do trust Ariats. um they're probably my favorite i'm just showing you the symbol right here uh and this one is in really good condition it, to be honest if i were to choose between a new boot and a used boot i always choose used because they're broken in it takes a long time to break in boots unless you actually you know do a lot of leather treatment um but these ones are already nicely broken in so just have to clean those up yeah I, exactly it's just a little dirty from the barn which you're allergic to but, um, yeah i'm allergic to horses <laughs> <laughs> and cats and hay <laughs> right um but the tread on here you can see the tread is almost perfect i don't know why anyone got rid of these unless they probably grew out of them so yes i'm selling these yep. if they were my size they wouldn't be selling <laughs> they would be yeah. okay she would hoard them it's hey <laughs> i would use them all right so wait wait hey i want to show these next we i know i know you want to show okay. okay yes yes we can show those but i'm taking a sip of tea oh well i'll get them ready okay okay all right we ready yep okay we have these really nice pair of jeans men's jeans and i'll kind of show you oops there we go uh now they're the brand is that's not the brand right there oh <laughs> how do you pronounce it cool. cool cool these are cool brand jeans and and they have this really cool symbol in the back too check this out <laughs> i can't Wait, do it I either isn't exactly. that a cool it's like a little mountain scene it, isn't that cool yeah <laughs> and they have the logo on the pocket too yeah these jeans stood out to me i was looking at a few pair of jeans i'm like just the feel of it you're like eh, eh. and then the feeling of these i'm like wow these ones stand out let me read the labels and here these jeans have so much more detail than any other pair of jeans i'm trying to show so just like they have uh, more sewn in detail here and they're men's jeans which uh, stood out to me. There's oh so many. Po Why do men get so many pockets? That is my <laughs> biggest pet peeve. Is there's like a little tool pocket here. Oh, I was hoping I was like five money in there. <laughs> <laughs> like oh twenty dollar bill. And you won't oh, believe. People, oh, at the bins. Money. I found. I have actually found. Um, actually, it's it's all been changed, but I have found a lot of change. <laughs> uh, not so much in pockets, but it's been in like literally a box or like a, you know. Uh, at the bottom of the bin too if you look at the bottom of the bin i found quarters of it's quarters and uh nickels i've been finding <laughs> for the most part um so yeah. this is a really good brand um yeah. it sells really well on ebay and, and i can't wait to get those listed so advertising now of course men men get the nice deep, deep pockets what do we get <laughs> nothing <laughs> that's true i i i have levi jeans for women and the pockets are like this deep when i shop for my my pants and jeans they must have reasonable pockets if i'm not going to get a pair of pants or jeans if i cannot <laughs> at least fit well now you have to be able to fit your cell phone in it or oh uh, thank you Prim Rose. <laughs> um but yes i i really like these pants a pair of jeans um oh and they're buttoned actually that was a really nice button i'll show you that um there we go i'm starting to get better with the camera so they are yeah, this is really um her it was, supposed to, it was supposed to be her show on her channel and unfortunately this is her first kind of live by kind of by herself but i'm still helping <laughs> <laughs> she better no but this is so like if you ever want to do this like by yourself oh right no me. no i can definitely do this it's just unfortunate i my computer was not oh yeah yeah set up properly yeah um, oh, the so, first yeah, but there's so much to to learn about it that you you know, um, just to do a, a live yeah. live thing. But yeah, again, I really like these. We're, we're, so okay. um, if you guys watch Hustling Hooks, they find this brand all the time, and I think also um, um, Far North Thrift. I think she <laughs> also finds this brand all the Thank time. Thank you, Primrose. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, they all talk about this that cool brand, you know, K-U-H-L, -K cool. Yes. Um, so let's so talk about these. I found another pair. Now these are, I found women's jeans. Now I think they're called summer jeans. What, 
when you only come uh, down uh, oh, to your cropped. cropped. Yeah, they're cropped to your mm -hmm. ankles. And no, they're cropped. They're cropped. But they're sometimes people call them sand diggers or crop. There's different okay. names for them, but but so these ones still had the tags on them. New with um, tags at the bins. Find so that all the time. Times. Times. Yeah. So tell her about the one. So I got to dig. I, I also got to dig at the bin. So the bins in Lancaster, it took me a little while getting used to. And then I went to the bins in Indiana back in July, and they were fantastic it was a huge building it was clean it didn't smell there was there must have been there must have been a dozen or more bins just for clothes and there was probably two dozen bins just for the hard goods and that there was so many goodies and it was fantastic. it is that is a huge so place. not all bins are equal and if there's more than one bins in your area make sure to read the reviews before you go google it because I was going to go to ones that are about an hour Ooh, away from here, right. and they do not have good reviews. Mm -hmm. However, one of the other resellers, Hustlin' Hooks, by the way, mm -hmm. um, they live on the other side of the state where I do, and they went to the second one, which is about two and a half hours away from me. And it's a big building, and it's got lots and lots of bins, and so I'm going to head there exactly. at some point. You would think these would be tatty, tattered or dirty, even with the tags. Oh, but yes, it's it's perfectly white. There's no damage on it. It even has the size here, size, it's size 27 and, you know, with the original, you know, $30 on it. Um, but I thought, I was looking at this pair and oh yeah, um, it just had a lot of little details in it. Again, it might be hard to see in the camera. So it's Jeff, Jessica Simpson. Uh, Jessica Simpson. Yeah, it's which, the brand. Uh, so um, then, I normally wouldn't pick up this brand if I was sourcing out in Goodwill or any thrift store for that matter. And I even if I saw these new with tags in Goodwill for they normally charge about five bucks for jeans. Right. I wouldn't have picked these up because they don't go for a lot. But at the getting them at the bins and paying about a dollar. Right. Like so these probably weigh maybe ounces. Well, yeah. Probably not quite a pound. If she's paying a dollar twenty nine a pound, so maybe a dollar. I would, these aren't quite I would say maybe like seventy five cents for these. Yeah, so seventy five cents or an eighty cents for those. Um, like. But yeah, if yeah, still they're in great condition. So yeah, um, I I had found um, a an Ann Taylor loft top that was so new it was still in the plastic that that comes in when they ship them to the store at the bins in Indiana. Um, when I waited out, I paid about 33 cents. So I waited out at home. I sold that for $28. And so I made really good money. <laughs> and that's the kind of finds I want to find at the bin. So here I found another one. And again, it was by accident when I was digging through. It was just the feel of the, the fabric is what caught my eye in a sense. But this is a club, club room brand. Let me get, there we go. Club room brand. It's a large, but it's a wool fabric. Really nice, good condition. It has some fuzzies on it. Uh, so we just had to, you know, it's it's in perfect condi condition. Other you, just, than you just run one of these just, little rollers on yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> a little static roller on it. Yeah. Um, but these are also a really good brand uh, from what I've researched. And again, this is another brand that... Um, um, I think it's, it yeah. sells well on eBay. Um, however, it's only because we're getting it at the bins. Right. Or if I had gotten it at a grad sale. If I got it for a grad exactly. sale for a dollar or two, but when you start to pay 4 and $5 mm -hmm. for things at the thrift store, it starts to be like, to eh, I'll pass on that one. I'll quickly. find something else. So yeah. this is this is actually a wool, wool sweater, uh, wool men's sweater. Uh, let's do... Let's do a different here. Why don't you get back there? Oh, okay. that's that's something new. All right, I'm gonna grab. Okay. So, all right, number one. You got number two. Okay. So, again, if you're still in the holiday spirit, we got our trains. These are for the hanging your stockings on. I reason for uh, just being able to pack these up uh, safely. I took the uh, the hook off, but you, you attach the hook right back up on, on here. But this is part of the Polar Express. So I have a, a car here, and what's nice is you put the family member's name in that little spot right there, 
Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I, I was going to try to do it. I see. You need a right, screwdriver. Right. I had to detach it and yeah, put it yeah, back in. Yeah. And then, so I have one car and one caboose. So I love the caboose. But these were really cool. They're so heavy. Yeah. So they're heavy. definitely the stocking holders that are that are really like can they're, hold. <laughs> yes, they're meant to a good a good amount of weight in that stocking. For right. Sure. Exactly. <laughs> So I really like these, and who doesn't like the Polar Express? <laughs> so, and these are a is it Hallmark? Um, yes, it is a Hallmark. It's the Hallmark Polar Express. So, when she first showed these to me, she wasn't so sure about them. So I I looked them up on eBay. This is how we coordinate together. Even though we can be in two different states, and she's at the bins, and I'm at, sitting at home. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, it turns out that there is a set of three. Uh, different trains um, and she's got two of the three right however you, people sell them as singles all the time because sometimes you're missing if somebody one, missing you want to add on to or one you only, or they only bought one or two right. and they need the third one or whatever I think this was really cool for family because you have like the husband and wife and then the then the baby comes in so you add another caboose or another car yeah or yeah, keep adding so cars you have like six <laughs> seven eight cars in the end right that, oh my god <laughs> you, you have a whole bunch of kids. right uh um, but when you're not when you're not hanging these up they're great for lifting weights they're good exercise <laughs> i swear they're like five pounds so they go for twenty dollars a piece twenty dollars a piece now these weigh a little bit more so she probably paid a little bit more for i them. yeah i'll pay but i they, paid a little bit more and for shipping i obviously it's now this is 20 this is, it's twenty dollars plus shipping that's right. what they were going for and on ebay this is where it's tough is i either i price it where i get my shipping covered in that price or do i price it where the person would have to pay for the shipping themselves and that's where like, like the calculated shipping yeah so the calculated shipping if i if i um and it's not i'm starting to get better where i can start to figure out about approximately how much something <laughs> like this would cost to ship so let's say it cost nine dollars a ship then i would list it at 29 dollars free shipping right on ebay exactly. that's what my exactly. thought process would be so i was like oh those are really good to get and then even the little hook let me turn it so you can see it there we go i just wanted you to see the little hook on there and Okay, so we'll do this one. Yeah, hold on, let me get this set up for you. Okay. So this next is a blouse, a women's blouse. I loved this. I just thought it was really pretty. It's a Calvin Klein women's blouse, and it is a size, um, I think medium is what I'm showing you. Yes, medium. Um, it's it's that nice silky uh, material. I'm sure it's just synthetic material. Probably. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's just but like again, rayon or whatever. But again, yeah. it's so tough on the bins because they have the clothing a little bit piled. You literally have to grab it and just pull, pull until something sticks out to you. Um, so yeah, you're digging and flipping it over and moving. So it along. <laughs> yeah. it's, especially the clothing. I, I avoided clothing for the longest time because I was so overwhelmed by hundreds and hundreds of pieces of clothing in one bin. But after I just, I started pulling a little bit of clothing, then I realized I'm like, I, I'm going by feel for myself and color. I'm like, if it stands out to me, then that's what uh, worked for me. So yeah, so this kind of thing was so lightweight. She's Oh again, yeah, paying okay, like 20, 20 cents for this. Yeah, yeah. So. so that for me, I would be listing that in Poshmark and cross posting it possibly to eBay. It depends, I will look them up to see where they're uh, where I can get the best price for it and then that's where I list it sometimes I automatically <clears throat> excuse me um, list it uh, on both places at the same time um, but a lot of times I will list a lot of things in Poshmark that um, only if they sit in my Poshmark closet a little bit too long if it's a little too long in my Poshmark closet then I'll cross post it to to um, eBay mm -hmm. uh, to move it along because um, there is a bigger, bigger audience in eBay yeah. shopping than there is Poshmark. So, so all right. in fact, um, I know a lot of people, I mentioned that to everybody I ever talked to, I talk about Poshmark. You would not believe how many people have never heard of it, never, never thought to look up an app like that. They don't even know these apps exist. So when you're out there as a reseller, make sure you're telling people like, oh, you got to get on eBay. You got to get on mm -hmm. Etsy. You got to get on um Poshmark, it, right? And it takes a, more than one time of them hearing that before they before they have any desire whatsoever to get on those apps and right. and use them. So the next thing I'm going to show you is 
it's a box and it said windmill carousel on it and i saw this and i'm like oh my gosh what an awesome find that looks you know pretty vintage to me and i then i stopped i'm like well let me open the box and make sure it's not you know something else or maybe it's not if it's all broken and damaged i'm like then i won't get it so i open up the box and i'm just going to show you it had a million miniature a order. million a million <laughs> million million okay i had a bunch i you know million means a bunch so uh had a bunch of little ornaments in it so i'm just going to show you from it's a little uh santa like a little elf this was the only one that came with i had the box yes this one had the box but like for example this is one of the ornaments <laughs> i know yeah. <laughs> i know but <laughs> there's the boxing the only one had okay. the box <laughs> so i'm literally going to quickly show you all of these so baseball and glove this yeah. one says um 1988 hallmark this little box okay can you put these off to the side as I show them? No, no, not trying to show, no. Take this off to the side. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's trying to show them for you. Oh, okay, I'll put them over here. Okay. <laughs> then we got uh, Santa Moon. It's Santa's face and a moon. Wait a second, we're not gonna show all of them, okay. are we? <laughs> yes, we are. All right, really quick. Uh, the Cardinal. Oh, everybody loves the Cardinal ones. We got, uh, we got the Mushroom. It's, I'm pretty sure it's mushroom. It's like the mushroom barrel. Oh, mushroom barrel. It looks like mushrooms. What do you call these? Oh yeah, it is mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is, hold on. This is why she's taking them away and I'm describing them. Uh, now this is just a small. Oh, so this one is Inesco. Oh. So this is, these, this is vintage Inesco. So this is a whole mix, mix batch of of miniature ornaments yes and i most likely will sell these off as a lot or maybe like a set of three or four of them yeah but yeah. <clears throat> here's one of like i'm looking at her like what do you mean you're selling them she <laughs> said that all this stuff was for me and now she's gonna here's she's gonna take some of this stuff and okay sell it on her so here's day. one of santa's toys he made um this one i don't know if it's part of that whole collection but little santa um walking in the snow Let's oh see. yeah this one's completely different because it's all gold we got this is angel bear so the angel bear with his star turn around nope other way there we go angel bear with his star we got the toy drum set i keep going the wrong way oh <laughs> <laughs> can you see it <laughs> i apologize ahead of time okay little drum set we got, oh, there's, you know, there's a bunch of these. So these are probably a um, bunch of these. I won't show you all of them, but, whoops. Oh, what that, was that? It didn't break. No, but where'd it go? It's in the boot. In the boot. In the boot. So. Oh, it did go in the boot. Okay. Here's, so, little Santa. Oh, I keep turning. Oh, my gosh, that is the hardest thing to do. When it's Ooh, a mirror. he's so cute looking. Yes. Oh, we showed you that glove and baseball bat. Well, here's Santa making a pitch. So, got that one. Um, this one, I think, is a typical ornament. Um, I've seen these around a lot. But this is in the vintage. This is a vintage one. That's a vintage one? <clears throat> yeah, when they have the indent like that on either side, these. this is definitely a, a vintage one. Now, here, on, the, on there... It, Sometimes, oh no, it doesn't say. Okay. Sometimes on the very tops of them, it'll say who made them. Okay, here's it's a it's a sleeping mouse. I'm trying to get the light for you. Oh, that's not gonna help. Okay, here's the sleeping mouse. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to do the camera. Sleeping mouse in his shoe. <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> there we go. I'll definitely. There's definitely gonna be better photos of these. Than what's appearing on the camera. Um, oh, they're a little stuck together. So we have Santa's sleigh with his tree. So I'll show you that one. Yep, Santa's sleigh with his tree. And then Mr. Snowman with his tree, Christmas tree. Where, 
Okay, we have the ABC uh, letter block. We have just a few more. Oh, just a few more. Here's another of the letter blocks. Oh, so two of them. What it had on it? A little doggy. Oh, doggy on it. Okay. Oh, here's Santa's gift bag. I'm just looking to see what's all in there yet. Santa's gift bag. Oh, we have the tree with the gifts on it. And to see these a little better, you might have to, if you're using, if you have a small screen, you might have to blow it up into full screen. Uh, oh, here's Santa painting one of his toys that he's making on his rocking chair, work or his the, work chair. <clears throat> these would go good. You know, I'm, I'm, I need my water, not my, I yeah, keep your water's right there. <laughs> Never um, mind. Oh, here's tall Santa. You know, I think, isn't that a theme, like the tall Santas? I feel like that's a... Mm. So, um, I've seen on a lot of the channels where they're doing the crafts uh, on the YouTube channels where they take these little ornaments and they take like a, a vintage spice can, like, you know, the spice oh. cans, and they do assemblages on top, like a little assemblage. Oh, that would be, oh my gosh. And so you could put, you could figure out something. That would with, be such a fun art these, project. Yeah, with these miniature ornaments. Little puppy dog. It looks like a little schnauzer, unless this is a cat. I'm pretty you sure could definitely dog. add these into that. I mean, obviously, these are good for, like, a little small Christmas it's, tree. Yeah, for miniature Christmas but tree. assemblages, that's exactly what I right. would be putting into the um, If you go back, these are, these are, like, the perfect size for my Christmas tree. I had a miniature Christmas tree. She um, has a Norfolk go, pine. Yeah, if you go yeah. back to um, one of my videos, you'll see me decorating it. Uh, but here... We have Snowman is, he looks like he's delivering the gifts, Mr. Snowman. And we have one more. Oh, it's another one of Santa's toys. Looks like, um, what are these little things you... Uh, a top. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The tops that you spin. Oh, but on the very bottom of the box, I thought this was adorable. It looks like someone made little paper ornaments and decorated them. And... They definitely seem vintage. Yeah, they, they're definitely vintage, just from how the paper is aged, the paper type and quality. I thought this one was adorable. Someone really did put, put a lot of time into it. But So that was all those little ornaments. I'm sorry for the endless ornaments. But nope, I forgot one. Oh, the partridge. Or partridge in a pear tree. Oh, I forgot that one. <laughs> Whoops. So... Um, now let's grab another one. Oh, we have, we have someone new. Welcome. If you're new here, say hello. <laughs> um, okay, so back, we'll we'll get off the Christmas craze for a little bit. Um, oh, look how, you know what? I Talk about assemblages, assemblages, this little Oh, that's a good Santa Santa That's a good topper. would be great for a topper on assemblage. Right, that's true. Okay. So we have a jacket. It's by Cutter and Buck. And this is a really, really good quality brand. It's a, uh, it's a jacket, nice little wind jacket. Not a wind jacket, just a. Um, um, no, it's just like a, a winter. Yeah, it's just like for yeah spring or fall. Spring or fall jacket. Um, I'm pretty sure it's men's. It's, oh, it's definitely men's. Oh, <laughs> I just looked in the pockets now. Gross. They have tissues. Yeah. <laughs> There's tissues. Ew. In the <laughs> I, I should have looked in those earlier, but uh. Yeah, but look. even, hold on, even in the back, so if they had to, if you put your, it, even Cutter and Buck here, if I can get the angle right, you can see it in the light, hopefully. Um, so it's, yeah, a, it's this, a really good brand, this and that's going to be a really good seller. On yeah, the, really good seller. Yeah, so I always shied away from the men's clothes and the men's everything all for the for many years, and um after watching some of the men's channels or some of the flippers mm -hmm. who are men, if you watch those YouTube channels, you start to learn what they're flipping and you're like, um, they're making a lot of money on that. Right. <laughs> so, so definitely want to grab the men's items. Men's to, medium. Yep. And jackets like that usually sell for really good prices. You're looking at $30, $40. Sometimes they go up, you know, even more than that, but at least $30 or $40 for a jacket like that. And you're paying a dollar twenty nine a pound. Right. So here, I thought this was really nice. It's a men's um, short sleeve polo, and 
Not pull it, over. It's or, a button down. Isn't but, it? Button down. Button down. Yeah. Um, this is called Saddlebred, which I looked that up, and it's another good brand. Um, but I, I really liked it because it had the palm trees and sailboats. So anyone who's about to go on a vacation, this is the perfect shirt to go out. It's also a good one for like barbecues yes. or anything like that. Yes. When and if we can ever do that kind of stuff again. I know. <laughs> well, we'll get back into it. Yeah. Um, again, another men's uh, shirt. This is. Oh, this is Urban Pipeline, which looking that up, it's another good brand. This is a men's large. It's a black and gray striped oh my gosh the lighting it's like a heather it's like a black there and gray or, I mean, it black and, it's green and gray <laughs> green. i said black and gray green and gray oh. heather what did, what did i say green. i think you might have said black I don't know. oh i meant green and gray but yeah. anyways yeah so um yeah and it's cotton and acrylic yeah so and I, again nice Nice find in the bins, mm -hmm. and then okay, back to the ladies. Yes, we're gonna switch <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> okay, somewhat for the men, some for the women. This is a fossil laptop bag, or um, what do you also call it? It's a oh, shoulder bag. Yeah, it's, laptop, a, it's, a laptop, shoulder bag. it's a laptop bag. I like this one because it had a lot of compartments in it. So Make they, it right for... they, so um, oh, I oh. left something in it. I knew there's something in there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's a surprise okay, so, inside. All right. So um, this is called coated canvas or also referred to as a plastic canvas when you see this. Now, the Fossil brand used to be a lot more popular. And so I would get the the, the smaller handbags and those were easy to sell. You can still find them. They People still sell them. You just don't get a lot of money for them. Um and I said to her, that's when she showed it to me, I said, is it a handbag or is it a laptop bag? And she said, laptop bag. It's, oh, definitely get that because it's worth a lot more money to us for, you know, the flipping part mm -hmm. um, versus getting the handbag version. If it was a handbag, I would have been like, Let, leave it, right. leave it. The, this is so much more useful. Yes. Um, it looks like uh, <laughs> the bag had Rudolph stocking in it. So that snuck its way in. <laughs> there's two of them in there, and there's like a little generic. Oh, you mean and it, it was in there. Um... It was. It was in here. <laughs> oh, when you bought it. Oh, well, you still I, paid for it. I, you paid for right, the weight. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so that was in there. Oh, let me see what that um, is. And what else was in there was a women's, a women's uh, blouse again. Uh, I think it. This is an Ann Ta Taylor blouse, and it's a. Um, what is it? A medium sleeve or a uh, cut sleeve? What um, is that? Like three quarter length? Three, three quarter length sleeve. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I love that. I. I, I just thought it was yeah, really nice. That, that you showed that to me. So you didn't know this was in there. I, you know, I think I looked at it and then I meant to put it. Well, whatever. Oh, you meant to put it back? But yeah. It's still in the well, bag. I, you know, no, I liked because Rudolph was in it. That's no, I kept it because of Rudolph. Oh, okay. So. Maybe we can put this in with some of those Christmas ornaments, kind of do like a stocking with a couple of the ornaments right. as, and sell it as a lot that way. Okay, so Christmas now stuff. this is one of my favorite finds right here. Oh, I God. thought this, this is heavy. It's heavy, but I thought it was an awesome find. It's a uh, leather shoulder bag or laptop bag. It's really, really good quality. You have the little release lock right there, but... It had so many compartments. There's one, two, and then oh, I need to get these out. Of yeah, it. you need that. Yeah. So then the other compartments inside, three, four, there's uh, pens and uh, note cases, cell phone. Um, there's, gosh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different pockets. Actually, let's make it 11, 11 different pockets that, and it's just, it's a really heavy quality leather. Um, but what I liked, it, it wasn't worn out anywhere. So it's still in really good condition. It has rub marks, but I don't know if that was originally supposed to be look, it was supposed to look aged from the beginning, but I actually really like the look of it. I don't think it looks bad at all. Um, 
but this was a very, very heavy bag. And there's nothing wrong with the condition that it's in now. No. But if you if if you were to condition this, it would look so good. But this is kind of like that um almost a suede feel to it. I don't know. Like it's a um I, I think, know they can be you can condition them. I think this but, this width is suede yeah. just for comfort of carrying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But that, then the rest of oh, it this is leather. leather. Like, well yeah, suede and is leather and is leather. Yeah. Um yeah, that is so nice. Uh we have a few more items she's gonna grab. Well. Reach over. <laughs> Oh, so, okay. So you're going to laugh, but I got a little, uh, hold on. I got a little tied up uh, at the bins <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh, why'd she get so many ties? All right. So first thought is, um, so my puppy dog, she loves to play tug of war and all of her toys, she's destroying very quickly. So I thought, and she loves the feel of silky uh, material. So a lot of times she loves playing with the tags on her toys which is that nice silky material i'm like well what else is silky ties are you know built with a silky material i'm like she would love this to play with this instead of going after other tags um but as i was searching i stumbled upon a michael kors tie so no i'm not going to give my dog a michael kors tie if i can get you the get it so it's legible um, but yes, so this one will most likely be a gift or I will sell. Um, it's a men's, it's a pink with the light blue in the center. So no, this will not be a puppy dog toy. Some of these others, I have to research what, um, I will do if I will sell them. Oh, and on top of that, when my dog, she eventually will rip up a, a stuffed animal and then you get all that stuff and, you know, it comes out. I don't want her eating that stuffing, so I, I pull all the stuffing out, and I used to replace the stuffing with old socks, but in this case, I'm going to replace it with ties, so she can pull out the tie, 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 tie. <laughs> like, like a magician? Right, like a magician, and then, you know, then she can have fun. We can stuff the tie back in, and she can have, you know, ball with it again. So, oh, you agree with the uh, making the tie? Yeah. <laughs> This is a this is oh, a great, great balance. Oh great, she's saying a Valentine's Day tie. Yeah, that's a great is, idea. I didn't. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, so oh, that's awesome. Whoops. Okay. But, oh oh. <laughs> well, I hope someone doesn't watch this video now. Whoops. Oh, she <laughs> might. She, yeah. I might gift it for my uh, someone. <laughs> that's the other my thing sweetie. about finding finding when we thrift for items. Um, always looking out for good items that we can give you know give as as gifts. And you right, look, you can right. get the best brand sometimes, which is awesome. That is true. And oh my, yeah. you know what? Speaking of that, he will love that now. Oh my gosh, that okay, that's a gift. <laughs> I'm not selling that. I don't care what the price is. Uh, I could get for it. I'm gifting that. It's yeah. official. All right, I'll put this over here. Mm -hmm. All right, put um, that put that in the keep bucket. So what? So what I'm gonna do because she just grabbed a whole bunch of different ties, but I'm gonna take the time to go through and look up these brands. And see which ones like here's a Jeffrey Bean. Um, here's a gosh, there's so a, many. A Bach Rock, you know, there's certain ones that I don't even recognize some of these names. Like it's hard. So like, yeah, I'm not. Um, oh, Claiborne. And this Claiborne. So <laughs> I wasn't expecting this Claiborne. No. It just is Claiborne. <laughs> I know. Um, so I I recognize some of these names, but I still snail, don't know if they... snail garden. <laughs> like, <I still> don't... <laughs> what? <laughs> it looks like snail. I can't. Oh, Garcia. Oh, Garcia. oh. It's, it, so this one actually might be worth something because this might be Jerry Garcia. Oh, yeah. Well, so, I guess. Oh, well, I guess it's not going to be a puppy dog toy. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to have to comp the, each one of these out, and I will look them up both on Poshmark and um, eBay because Poshmark initially was really only women were going on there. Then they opened it up for kids' clothes and men's clothes. And now there's so much men's clothes on there. If they're really nice and they stand out, they're bold, I probably won't sell those. But ones that are typical, you really can't see the pattern on them. They kind of blend into the men's shirts of what they're wearing. This will probably become a puppy dog toy unless it's an, a, you know, a valuable brand. Um, so, so if anyone knows this brand, I do not. Um, so the only thing I know about ties 
initially is to always look to see if they're 100% silk, which like this one is, this is 100% silk. They say, look for that, look for a good name on it. And a nice pattern. Nice pattern. And um, you know, like the Italian ones um, and certain other ones. And at the very least, because she's getting these at the bins and she's really paying next to nothing, mm -hmm. um, the least amount I would expect is like $8 for a tie. And then it goes up as high as $25. $35 for a tie. Right. If you get the right one, so one tie, if you get a bunch of ties, one tie might pay for all, all the ties them. plus yeah. a few other items, exactly. you know, and then the rest are just profit as you sell them. So, right. Yeah. Um, so you're asking, what did I pay at the bins? I went three different times and the one time I paid $20 for my collection. Mm -hmm. Another time I paid $60 for my collection and that's where that leather, um, that leather bag and some of the other heavy items were in there. Um, there was an, you know, I ended up getting, I don't have it here right now, but I got a bird uh, feeder for myself. It's a big, giant, oversized bird feeder. Probably oh, like, I forgot about that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. So it's That's about, awesome. it's probably like two feet in height, if not two, two and a quarter feet in height. Um, but it's meant for finches, which that's what I was looking for. I didn't want the big, you know, feeders. It only allows tiny itty bitty seeds, the ones that the squirrels shouldn't be interested in. Um, I'm not an expert on that, but um, I was, cause I have finches that already come to my house that feed off of my garden. Um, and one of them lives in my birdhouse now. Um, and they, they sing just the most beautiful songs. And I, that's what I was hoping to attract them more and their songs. Um, and then the third time you went, so you talked about those two already. And then the third. Yeah, so, okay. So I paid $20 first time, $60 the second time. And then twenty dollars a third time. So this whole video, everything I'm showing you, is about a hundred dollars, give or take. There's a few items that I could not bring uh, with me just because of their size, um, but I'll bring them home uh, later. Yeah. Uh, so the like the little trains, like we said, these are like twenty bucks a piece. You know. Mm -hmm. um, now minus fees, you you know you'd make less than that, and minus what the cost of goods. But if I if I can sell those for forty dollars. You know, and then you take out the fees and you make like 20 or $25 roughly mm -hmm. between the cost of goods and fees and all that stuff. Um, you can see how that kind of like two items can start to pay for like mm -hmm. one whole trip to the bins and then everything else becomes profit. Right. Now oh, we still so, have a few items here to, right. to show you guys. Oh, so Primrose, if you're really that nervous, don't go there and shop. Just go there and observe. See what, you know, it, actually it's really fascinating what people are putting in their bins. When I was at the bins, I had three people just throwing shoes in, and I really wanted to ask them what they were doing. I'm assuming they were reselling, but they grabbed every shoe out there that, and I'm like, wait, you're grabbing a, you know, this brand, that brand. I'm like, but that brand I didn't think had a good value. Why are you grabbing that one? But for all I know, they could have been doing it for a charity. They grabbed as many shoes as they can. Or they were doing, maybe they have a you know few kids that are in different sizes. They just look for sizes. But I thought it was fascinating of what people would grab, um, yep. whether it was this most knick-knacky thing or it was shoes or the most bulky thing. Uh, so it was, uh, <laughs> here's another thing I grabbed. Um, I wasn't sure about it, so I ended up asking, you know, you. But they're actually... Um, you uh, say mom uh, mom i'm sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm oh talking, i just i just I'm asked talking, you <laughs> i'm talking to you okay <laughs> um but um they're uh oh, shoot they're called um this is um like it's trim trim it's, trim so trim yeah. uh that you would put on like pillowcases or uh that you would do for wedding dresses i would assume this is for wedding dresses the trim for that or, it's for all kinds of projects. True. You know what? I'm not I'm not a sewer, but I have friends of mine who are, and I have I grew up with people who were really into sewing. And but these are expensive. And, yeah. And so um when I was looking these up, we'd have to figure out how much yardage is on this. Mm -hmm. Um but it was worth it to pick it up at the bins because it sells so good. And I'll tell you what, if we don't sell it on eBay, that is a good Facebook marketplace mm -hmm. thing because then someone can do a local pickup and it's even cheaper because right. there's no shipping involved. Uh, so I am not worried about selling something like that. So I am a sell everything type of seller. Some people are purely vintage and you're kind of an everything seller because I'm an everything, everything seller. So you kind of sell everything too. 
Um, you know, here was two more little Christmas items. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this was, um, oh, they have a, um, but yeah, I found someone. Oh, handmade. hello. Vintage uh, thrifted oh, treasures. <laughs> um, so someone had these little handmade bells. I thought they were the cutest thing. They were crocheted. Uh, and they actually took the time to put the bells in. Um, so I just These are definitely vintage. Yeah. Definitely vintage. And, um, like I know how to crochet. And so when I saw these, I can tell right away that these are vintage versus mm -hmm. like a modern day. Um, I don't know how to, it, it's the, it's the way the yarn looks to me. But I, you can tell that true. they've aged, yeah. you know, I just thought they were yeah. the cutest things and great for, so it's going to go in with the whole bin yes, <laughs> of, of miniature. So if anyone didn't get to see this, definitely roll back and look. It's, I, sh there was, you know, a you know, probably 25 or 24, so, 24, yeah, 24 or so, 20, no, uh, I meant 25, <laughs> 25, 25 little ornaments that, uh, I want to be in here. Oh, too. You, oh, you want to be in? <laughs> I am, you know, I have been sliding over. <laughs> um, so here, Again, we're uh, somehow falling back to the holidays. Here's Santa. Um, what do you call these? These are, so this is like, um, oh, it's metal, but it's like, I don't know if it's, it's, you know, I, feel I, like it's I don't know what kind of metal it is. Iron, or, oh, it's you know, for, it looks like, it looks like um, um, silver plate. Right. So he is missing yeah. one item. He's supposed to have, be holding a candle or something in his hand. Oh, I didn't you can even see, notice that. Yeah, you can see. So he's missing one little uh, attachment oh, yeah, to hold something that would hold probably, I would assume like a little tea candle. Yeah. So holding a tea candle. You know what? I'm starting to, I'm already visualizing somebody doing an assemblage where he Oh, that's is, definitely a collage. Yeah, he's definitely the centerpiece. And then you use this base to put stuff around him and then put something here. Like, oh, yeah. You can definitely <laughs> decorate him and put him up or in a, in a vignette. He, he would look great in a vignette. Mm -hmm. um yeah so he he's gonna go with all of the christmas items right and that's the other thing is i i don't shy about fun now i know because everybody that was trying to put together um videos for um halloween had a hard time following following finding finding halloween items for their vintage halloween collections because you have to buy them all year long if you try to buy oh. them in august and september in order to have your videos ready for October, you mm -hmm. get stuck with not finding anything because right. it's not, you know, I don't know exactly. how to explain it, but you pick up holidays all year long. So no, no matter what holiday it is. Right. Um, so here's another uh, item. Now I know this is a children's uh, cartoon uh, character. I, I don't know what the card, I think it's puppy pals or puppy, Let me see if it's um, puppy out oh, here, puppy. Paw, Paw Patrol. So this is a little Paw Patrol character. Um, I more got this for my puppy dog. I unless again, it really has a high. No, yes. No. We're not, no. No. Not, no. Not everything can be for the puppy dog. It, everything is for the puppy dog. Hey, if you guys had a puppy puppy dog, wouldn't you be giving the puppy dog all these fun little toys? <laughs> Look, even he agrees. If if he's worth money, he's going up on eBay and not going to the puppy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay. Oh, oh so, yeah, she, I was right. It was Paw Patrol. Yeah. But yes, this is for the puppy dog, unless it's worth millions of dollars, then I'll sell it. It's not yeah. worth millions. No. But, um, if we can flip this for profit. And um, I was watching uh, the nurse flipper, mm -hmm. and she's been doing a lot of plush items where she's like, don't shy away from plush. She has made some really good turns on um, selling the plush items. And that's why I was like, oh, Paw, Paw Patrol? Get him. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. <laughs> she obviously has I have, seen this I have some sort of accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So this one caught my eye right away. It's rusty. It's beat up. It's and vintage. It's vintage. And it's a tool. <laughs> so open it up. And I'm like, oh, it's an empty box. No, it has everything in it. So I'm just using this uh, piece of uh, uh, paper. <laughs> paper to protect it, but I can pull it out right now carefully. I'm protecting a heavy metal tool for some reason, but here is a, is the staple gun, and 
I have not tried to see if it works, but it doesn't matter because it's, it's vintage. Uh, it's vintage. It doesn't matter whether it works or not. It came with staples. It came with the little adjustments for the staples. What's this? I can't see. It this is part of the. Um, let me see it. Oh, it was staple. It comes with different staple sizes. So this is a staple size. This is another staple. But even the packaging, you can tell it's pretty, pretty old. Um, I don't even think it has barcodes. Nope, no barcodes. So what's on funny it. about it is these individual packages, we could sell these individually mm -hmm. because of it being vintage and having and the fact that there's even staples still in there. Right. Because people there's love still, advertising. There's a, there's a lot pieces. of these in here. And uh, here, look at the look at this. Like if you were to have this on display, look at the inside of that. It's it's just cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I just like exactly you. Yeah, you decor something inside and have this on the outside. Uh, so for all the vintage people out there, we did get vintage too. Yes. We're everything sellers. <laughs> oh, she said she would resell that too. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I agree. Uh huh. Just Okay, so oh now okay. So I got one and two. So these are little miniature cakes. Bunt cakes. Bunt I mean. bunt cakes. Are they I guess they're bunt cakes, right? I think so. yeah, bunt cakes, just a different shape. Now it is um it says um bunt cake mini loaf from Nordic Nordic Ware. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, it oh, it's that. so hard to show it in the camera. Darn. Um, but Bun Cake Mini Loaf from Nordic Wear. But trust and us, I, I like it. It's a really good quality. Um, and I did look these up on eBay. I don't remember exactly what the price was um, for them on eBay, but she has two of them, and I know that they were going for really good prices. Now, mm -hmm. um, not all Nordic Wear um, bake, bake pans go for Oh, well, they, there's a lot listed, and you got to be careful because if there's too many of the same thing, which I have one of those, which is how I know, I have one that has been a slow sell or what we call a long tail mm -hmm. because so many people have it up uh, for sale. So I was thinking about possibly just, you know, taking the listing down off of eBay and trying to sell it on Facebook Marketplace instead. Um, but these in particular mm -hmm. had a lot of solds. People are looking for these mini bunt pans. So I, I was like, oh, that's a good find. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Primrose. <laughs> uh, uh, we have just like a few more items and then we'll be done. <laughs> so these are molding headset cutters for tools and anything tool related. I'm like, you know what? They're Especially in the package. Like in, the, in the package, I'm like, these are always valuable. I think, is it Sears? Yeah, these are Sears. So you don't, you can't find these anymore. Um, Sears is definitely becoming vintage because of them going out of business. But yeah, so um, I was watching the bearded thrift machine. Again, if you watch the male YouTubers, um, tools, vintage tools sell for a lot online. Mm -hmm. So for the vintage people. Um, and things like this new in the package and when you know exactly what it is um definitely picking that up yeah. and uh i'm definitely looking more at uh, the man manly things i guess mm -hmm. and i'm sure that the same thing happens with the men they only look at manly things and they're not looking at um manly things Manly, Man, manly, manly things, things. <laughs> and, and they're not, not looking, looking at the feminine yeah the things. women things which is our next Thing. So this, actually, I love this. I think it's great kitchen decor. It's um, a sugar, like a sugar. No, these are canis canisters. Oh, canisters. So this one, it's showing it. And what's great is these are collectible because each one always has a unique flower. So this is a Sweet Williams flower that shows some butterflies. But then it also gives you the, um, I, the real name of it. You have Sweet Williams, but then you get the, the full name of the flower. So, so show I them the bottom of it. So Does the it... bottom is um, the Botanic Garden. Let's see if I can do this right. There we go. So you can read it. And that one says 18, uh, 1888 circa. Um, 
And I'm trying to, there's a little smudge right there. Oh. But these I love. If you, oh, this one says 1972 on it. Oh, did I misspeak? Yeah, 1972. Oh, oh I misspoke. Yeah. Um, I was reading the other uh, label at the top. Um, but these I thought were so cool. I already have something like these decor in my kitchen. So, but these are, I always, I imagine these sitting on the top of your, um, your cabinets or in like the back corner where your space, where you can't really utilize that space that you have a decor there. But these are so cool. And I am obsessed with flowers. And especially if you find your favorite flower, then you get the, um, so that was a peonies. Like decorate with yeah, that. Decorate with that. So this is a peonies. So, the, um, so there's one more to go. Yes, one more. So we'll show yeah. you one more. And it's, um, let me see what that one, that one has a, so that one, share the label oh, on that by, one. Because that this one's is by, more recent. This is by Susan Williams. Yeah, so there's modern ones and there's vintage ones. I'll keep going so you can see, read it. There we go. But that one's also Botanical Garden, right? Yes. Yeah, they're all Botanical Garden. It's okay. all the same brand. Right. Just different, different times. Different years. Yeah. And so I think they made different ones for different years. So here's yeah. this one. And I just love the flowers on each of these. And if you're a big gardener, you probably can already name the flowers just by looking at them. But let me see the bottom of that one. Is that all right? So oh okay, it's got the same um, That's the more modern as that one, one. I think. Okay. So um this one, that's the one I want. Because this this one with the really vintage look that's, to it, that's that was one. really hard to read. Mm -hmm. And um it's and then this, this one is the easiest one to read. Oh, I'm gonna take that lid off. The more modern one. So what it says on there is um Port Marion. And I looked that up. I looked it up, Port Marion Botanical Garden. And these canisters go for a lot of money on eBay individually. I did see some as sets where they had like with and without the lids these all have the lids um the lids on these uh the one has more wear than the other actually the one from 1972 has the i said 72 right 1970 yeah. something yeah um had the most wear on it um and then there's wear on the other lids but at least they have their lids mm -hmm. uh, i saw where somebody sold a set of three where only two had the lids so I was oh. thinking, let's, if you see something like this in the bins, pick, just it the, pick it up because you might end up finding this later. <laughs> right. Oh, and that happens all the time. If you see a jar without a lid, pick up the jar anyways because yeah, it happens all the time that stuff yep. just gets separated. Or like she said, I see the lid first, pick up the lid and you might find the jar later. Yep. Because there's so many times where that's happened, you know. You see the bottom of a a teapot. You're like, well, I'm not going to get it because it doesn't have its top. Yeah. And here it just rolled away, got separated over just people shuffling through the bins. And same thing with shoes. If you find one shoe that you really like, oh, well, there's no other pairs. It's It'll catch your eye later. If you keep that shoe in your cart and you look down at it once in a while, then look at the bins, you will catch that shoe. And I've actually helped other people at the bins. So I, found, I saw a shoe. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. But I, you know, in someone else's cart, and then I'm looking at the bins, and I'm like, oh, well, here's the other one. Ma'am, do you want the other pink shoe? And she's like, oh, my God, I was looking at, like, you know, looking for it forever. <laughs> Thank you. So it's it's definitely fun, that part, too. Oh, tell them the quick story of how you sold something before you left the bins. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my goodness. So this was pretty funny. I was, um, you know, they, they brought a new set of bins in. And I went over to the one of the bins and I was digging. I'm like, oh, it's a coach bag, you know? So I immediately grab it. I put it in my cart and I'm like, I'm done with this bin. I'm, I'm good. I'm happy. I start willing away. And this, this older woman looks at me. She's like, do, do you want that? And I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. I, I like it. And she's like, well, can, are you sure? Can I have it? Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm going to keep it. She's like, well, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. I'm like, no, I, I really like it. I'm sorry. I want to keep it. I, I wheel away. She she comes up to me later. Well, you we take $30 for it? And I'm like, no, I, I still want to hold on to it. I like the bag. I'm going to use it for myself. And, you know, I, I roll away again. She comes up to me the third time. Will you take $50 for it? I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, she really wants this bag. 
So I'm like, you know what? Actually, $50, I'll let her have it. So she literally gave me a $50 bill and I and gave her the bag. Like, <laughs> and the no, 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 not in the, you had to pay for it. For no, 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 she, no. We were still in. And she paid me the $50 bill. Oh, and, and she, she still, had, she to still pay? had to pay for it. Oh, my gosh. So I she gave me $50 that. for me to give it to her. And then she still paid the cashier what she had to pay for the weight of it. Oh my god! Yeah, I, <laughs> I thought you. Right. I thought you paid for it. No, and I then gave her. Gave I it I it. really wanted the bag for myself, but she kept begging for it. I'm like, all right, you know, you seem like you really want it, but I. <laughs> we only so, have, you only have one last thing to go yeah, over. Yeah, I think. Okay, so. Let's see. Are you sure? Is just check around the corner to make sure there's no other items, because I think there's stuff sitting down on the floor. Oh yeah, let me see. Yeah, there's stuff on the floor. Oh no, no, those are and that's that's the empty bags. Okay, we got everything. All right, so here's our last item. Okay, so who loves Dr. Seuss? <laughs> Can anyone tell me which character this is in Dr. Seuss? Are we ready? Who is this? Which Dr. Seuss character is this? Does anyone remember their books? I don't know the name. I don't know who it is. <laughs> I think that, wait, I hope this is Dr. Seuss. <laughs> yes, it's Dr. Seuss. Yes. This is part of Dr. Seuss. Um, to be honest, I cannot remember which book this is from, but I remember they made it into a movie, and all the birds were sitting around and not letting another bird in. They were roasting marshmallows. So this was like the marshmallow book. Oh, <laughs> this, yeah. I must have been after my time. <laughs> right. So I found this guy. I thought he was really cool. He stood out to me and I said, Oh, he's going to be for my puppy dog. Oh, <laughs> no. But um, I think he might be. I, but you have to be careful once. Well, she'll love him because of him he's being so furry, fluffy. But yeah. then what, if she gets starts to get the stuffing out, then you have to stuff him with ties. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, or something else. Yeah. <laughs> No, um, I don't think I'm going to, well, well, I'm going to research him first, but um, if he's not very valuable, then yes, he'll become a puppy dog toy. Um, when I told her to look for plushes, I meant for resale. She kept <laughs> putting them in our cart for the, for our, for little Lola. Hey, the, and there's the, no Lola tonight because we're filming at Alyssa's house and Lola is at home. Hey, everyone knows the rule. The puppies come first or the kitty cats come first, whatever your, <laughs> you know, your little pet is. Oh, by the way, I have a. I oh, have hi, a Dorothy. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see you to just oh, now. Hello. <laughs> hello. Um, so uh, I do have a bunch of videos of her up on my um, my uh, channel. So definitely take a look at those if you want to see her being a goof uh, and growing up. Oh my God, she's getting so big. Oh, this it's the parrot. She says, Hooey. The parrot. That's the name of. Oh, this is, is Huey the parrot. Who is Huey the parrot? Yeah. Oh, so I. Then, she said she looked it up from Google. I okay. <laughs> then I have my character mixed up. Thank you. Here we'll do this. My <laughs> mistake. So maybe my I'm not remembering my childhood too much. But uh, so I really yeah. I really liked him, and I thought he was fun. But, so as always, well, this is kind of the end of our live haul, um, and. It was good to see a bunch of people in here and appreciate everybody who came yes, to chat with you. us and go over everything at the bins. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Alyssa is, is traveling for work and I am planning to go visit her down where she's going to be working yes. <laughs> and guess who's going to be able to go to the bins again. <laughs> we're going to go to the bins together and it's a lot easier when we do it together versus when she goes and picks things out and then has to wait take I don't, pictures and I don't send think them to me hold on i don't think it's easier because she puts something in i'm like no and i oh, <laughs> she, she's constantly taking stuff out of my cart like one time I, I i had a little spool of thread it was you know new and I threw it in the cart because I knew it's going to cost like a nickel to buy it because it's so lightweight. And she was like, what are you getting that for? And she, and she throws it back in the bin. I get it. And I, I threw it. I said, I said, if there's one, there's more of them. Sure enough, I found a second one and I sold them. Those, those two, um, they were pretty sizable thread, not like little things of thread, not the kind you sew with. This was a, a different kind of thread. And, uh, and they definitely um, sold right away. I found yarn that time. I found the little, the little tiny skeins of yarn, 
and uh, those actually sold international. And I had a whole bunch of them that I actually filled an entire poly mailer. I stuffed them in there because they're, you know, very flexible. Mm -hmm. And there was just some of them were partial skeins. There was this like really tiny bits of them left. And that's I sold it as a mixed lot. They were all different colors. And um, I got that at the bins last time you and I went together. Mm -hmm. She was having a cow that I was putting no, that stuff in, no, the, no, no, no. in my cart. <laughs> but it, it was like nothing. So her and I are planning to go um, sometime next. Oh, I think we're going to drive next down. Week or two. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure when we're going to do um, a haul video on that. But if you guys subscribe to our channel and yes. subscribe to both of our um, Instagrams, under the yes. same name. Green same, same exact name. Green Bee Explorer. That's Alyssa. Yep. I'm Dina. <laughs> <laughs> left Lane Vines. Uh, left Lane Vines. <laughs> um, and I'm also planning at some point, I don't know when, to go to the bins um, on the other side of the state here in, of Michigan, uh, go to those and... Oh, yeah, now you want to go to the bins yeah. again? I bet I bet you I, do. <laughs> if you hurry up, you might just make it. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so it was great chatting with uh, everybody yes, that came thank today. You. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I guess um, does anyone have any questions before we leave? Or I think yeah. it was I, we I had a, we had a fun time tonight. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was definitely fun. Um, I guess some some takeaways are are like always open oh, the boxes. Yes, like she thought this might be in there, and it would have been fantastic, but it wasn't. But she it did turned get out to be all of those bunch of items. little mini ornaments. Um, don't shy away from the men's items, ties yes. and jackets and shoes. Like these, these boots, these these boots alone probably sell them from somewhere between uh, fifty and sixty five dollars for these boots. And like she said, she she paid a hundred dollars for everything that she got. She's keeping some stuff for herself, so we would minus that out. But it's still your thrifting items. Like she got those beautiful curtains. Oh, you got those other curtains. Oh, the blue ones. Oh, right there. Oh, oh. can you grab them really yeah. quick? Yeah, yeah. I was just I was letting them dry. That's right. That's, oh, so we have one more item. Yes, one more item. We forgot. So. Oh, these are really heavy. They're really too. heavy. So these are. These are called darkening um, or darkening. room darkening curtains. So it's a nice dark navy blue, and with the, the grommets at the top. With, the yes, yeah. with the grommets at the top. Yeah. But then on the back side, it's another thick layer of the black um, uh, fabric, and it's it's great for it's their room darkening because literally they don't let the sun in. Uh, I was looking to see if there was a name. Oh, if there's a brand no. on it. No. No. So they're like unbranded. Right. From what I can but see. But these are really good quality. And they're the really long ones too. What I wanted to do is I have a um, a door I wanted to put them in front of uh, just to create a little bit more privacy. Uh, so I'm going to put a, uh, hang up a. Um, rod. Rod. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> curtain rod. So I'm blanking out. Sit at the back. Hanging up a curtain rod there. And I'm going to be. You know, putting them up there. So, um, yeah. So it's um, she has a door. There's a back. I, I have a back door from my study that goes to the backyard. Or oh, she calls it a study now because it's, it, it's like a it's, bedroom slash. It's it's study. a bedroom study. <laughs> so, and I just wanted to give if I have guests over or if um working or wanted to watch a movie, anything like that in there, it um we could just help to darken the room just a little bit more because the uh. The door, the door doesn't have anything on it to keep the light out. So it, it's a, it's a full glass panel door that has mm -hmm. one of those shades on the inside of it, mm -hmm. where you can pull the shade up and down. Shade right? really doesn't keep. And the, the shade light doesn't out. keep the light out. It, it does help with letting light it, into. It the creates room. privacy, but not the light still. Yeah. Lingers through. Yeah. So if you wanted it to be dark for sleeping, mm -hmm. um, that light comes in right away in the morning, right? Whether you want want it to or not, right? So this is perfect for for that door and this would work out perfectly. exactly for yeah or if i wanted to keep that door open and let the you know still let the air circulate in i could still have this covering to do that as well yeah. so i was happy about this fine because these are expensive and and she likes to sew so um so 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 so, so, so she can this is probably big enough you might go to to um oh hi dorothy cut it in cut it in half or whatever or do something else with it if you 
if you don't need that much material for the just the door right you might be able to, you might have enough there for because this is a really wide panel for some reason it is really wide so and you might be able to do for the one window that's in that be bedroom slash study and the oh maybe oh hold on maybe it's not as wide as i thought it's if you widening it well whatever she, <laughs> if she if she wants to trim it down and use it for another project there's certainly enough material there to do it with it seems like at least five foot yeah. or four so of the hundred dollars we're thinking i mean i i can't even begin to calculate how much money you can make on this there's probably on all at least stuff. 50 items here so we can at least assume that we've spent two dollars on everything but it's it's hard to judge because one item weighed five pounds where another item weighed two ounces <laughs> yeah. so it's hard to judge <laughs> yeah. it that way yeah but uh, so i'm excited i i know we're going to make all our money back plus a lot of profit mm -hmm. and the profit Hi, of the things that you keep it covers for the cost of the things that you keep for yourself so you're basically right. thrifting and getting those items for mm -hmm. free everybody who who resells for profit already knows that this right. is for people who who are just watching it or just starting to learn or thinking about flipping for profit and then um uh so i can't wait to to get this stuff yeah. listed i gotta get it all in my car and kick it back to my house right tiny lip tiny bit more research we're gonna do yeah i'll uh, research things at, yeah um and then we'll see what things the dog gets. Oh my gosh! Like, versus not gonna ugh. versus like she might be getting this because um this drift I don't I think this one was not as valuable. Okay. I think this was not. Well, as she'll valuable. like the draft more. I think that'll yeah, be her, so her yeah. buddy. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, I just got a puppy dog, and I've been posting videos of her up. I'll slowly post videos. Um, little by little as she's growing up she's learning more little perks and uh, fun little habits or bad habits <laughs> <laughs> no and so, tell me what else you do on your channel besides the uh, puppy dog ones. oh so my channel uh, it's it's a combination of everything I, I do a lot of traveling uh, so it's obviously my travel side but also I have some hobbies of cooking and other just events that happen um, and gardening? I like you do oh, oh yes gardening with all the snow right now I'm a little you know, nothing to do there. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gardening right now, except for my indoor plants. Um, but yes, outdoor, I, I like to document what my plants have been doing, how I've been, you know, what I do with my garden to make it more effective, uh, efficient, I should say. So the gardening side. So green is, you know, my side of trying to be green initiative. B is I'm a busy bee who loves the garden, uh, green garden as well. Um, but then exploring is I love to travel and I love to try new things. So when there's new opportunities, opportunities come up, I love to share them with others. You know, have you ever done this? This is what I was able to try out. Oh, tell me about um, some of your recent videos. Like, oh, yes. Oh, I just got an air fryer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Air fryer. And it is videos so are hysterical, much, by is, the way. Oh, yeah. If you want to laugh. Okay, literally have like you and your friends come in and watch me stutter. Watch me. You it's know. best if you have some wine or beer. Oh my and then, gosh! And then make sure you put them up on the TV. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, if you put them up on the TV and just watch me, you know, yeah. So because <laughs> she's a unique uh, cooker. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, me and my fiance we love cooking, so we we're constantly experimenting. I'm experimenting. Um, I like to make i love making soups so you see a bunch of my uh videos have been soups lately it's been cold uh so oh bye bye oh oh, oh the, the a, said goodbye sorry oh, we missed oh, that oh, we're missing <laughs> oh. oh oh yeah you're buying for yourself more there yeah. you go yeah. there you go yeah um, um yeah so we yeah. i mean i do that all the time this right here this shirt i have on i i thrifted that I was looking for things to resell, but then I also, um, you can't pass up bargains where I was in a Plato's right. closet and they had things for 90% off. And I'm like, well, one, I was looking for items to thrift, but then I found this and I'm like, um, if it's 90% off, I'm totally getting this. And I told my husband, oh, you got me a nice shirt for Christmas. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I wrapped it up for Christmas. Right. He's like, oh, I'm a good shopper. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, my puppy dog's slowly growing up. So I'm trying to document as she's growing up because 
you always tell people about those stories. Oh my God, when she first did this. Oh, when she first played tug of war with me. When I'm able to document those moments, you, it's easy to roll back, go to my YouTube and say, oh, this is when she learned how that she's literally learning how to go downstairs. Yeah. So yes. she'll watch her go, you know, she's very, you know, hesitant at first, but then all of a sudden she's like, oh, you know, it's, it's all those little things of, of just being able to it's, document. And that's, that's my biggest thing about my YouTube is I want to document, you know, what I've been able to, you know, do as I go along with my well, life. And, and once we get out of the, the whole shutdown and quarantine yes. and pandemic thing, yes. um, like her and her fiance like to go on these like little mini weekends and they yes. go, they try road to trips and road trips and they go hiking and biking yes. and all that stuff. So she's going to have all of that. Like she's on right. her channel. Exactly. Yeah, so her channel is completely different than mine is just the reselling. I have some videos of the puppy and the puppy makes appearances in my videos. Yes. Cause <laughs> I, you know, she's, she's my little mascot or helper up in uh, my emporium. Mm -hmm. And, um, so mine, I do the thrift hauls. I do um, what I sold. I've been doing like a vlog style of, of doing things now. Uh, so I, I film things a little bit different than I was. And um, so as I'm selling things, I'm kind of like uh, documenting that and putting that into videos and saying, how, you know, what I bought, how much I paid for it, you know, how much I sold for it or, and things like that. Yeah, um, Dorothy, so true. And that's why I ended up documenting it because I just, yeah. I wanted to see what she did and how she did it as long as it was safely, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, so I think we covered everything yes. in this particular. Um, yes. If you missed anything, just you roll back. There was a ton of items here and all of them were unique. So uh, definitely make comments if, you know, you've seen something before or. You're like, oh my oh. gosh, I wish I had that. Yeah, here. I also, I tell people this. Um, I'm going to put up, oh, not that. Oh, hold on. Let me switch this a second. And um, so there's my Gmail. And I always tell people, um, if you see something and uh, you're interested in it, like if you're watching mm -hmm. this as a replay, you can always email me at leftlingfinds uh, at gmail.com. If you wanted a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything you want to buy, um, uh, I can invoice you and, and ship it out. I'll, I can do the shipping, figure out the shipping and invoice mm -hmm. you that way, and I can sell it to you that way. So um, uh, at some point, we're going to do live sales. Um, mm -hmm. We tried a few. Um, but it was, um, we didn't um, have enough people to really make it successful. I actually did sell one item after the sale. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, we're slowly, you know, getting our name and channel out there. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, so. But it's still, it's fun. Yeah. So, we're like excited it. to be growing. We're, we're both yes. growing slowly. and um, but Making new friends with everyone. Yeah, yeah. Making so. a lot of friends with everybody. Oh, oh you got hit. You I got, got it? it? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh yeah with the toddler <laughs> oh yeah and yeah some people do document like all that um i can't mm -hmm. i couldn't imagine trying to document kids <laughs> try, trying to wrangle the kids and film right. them at the same time <laughs> i'm not sure how that that works out <laughs> i can see like maybe food reactions first time having your salad foods or oh here's trying peas for the first time uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they do have a lot of these type of videos right there, though. yeah um, I can't think of, so all my, my items, so, um, oh, I went to an estate sale. Oh, um, and oh yeah. You have to show them that yeah. what, what you found. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's coming up. So I only put my videos out twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and then I do bonus videos. I do do collab videos. Sometimes I sponsor the collab. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, make sure to hit that notification bell because I will usually put out a little video saying that I'm, you know, doing a collab or I want people to participate in a collab. So if you subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit the bell. And that's for mm -hmm. both of us. Yes, um, please. You drop your videos whenever, right? You don't have a specific. Right. My, my work sometimes makes it a little bit harder, but I definitely try and do once, if not twice a week. Um, but sometimes with work, I just have a gap in my videos as well. Yeah. So uh, it, it doesn't, that doesn't matter. It just mm -hmm. matters that you're getting them up there. I just right. want people to know that 
um, if they're looking for new videos from you, that they really have to have that notification bell so that they right. get the notification like, oh, a new video went up. And Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you have yours all start at midnight, right? Yeah, I, I do. I do. Yeah. So. And I do mine at 6 a.m. Not that you have to watch them then. <laughs> <laughs> or you don't have to watch them at midnight either. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Although sometimes yeah. I do. I'm up and I'm like, it'll come on. I'm like, oh, she just dropped a video. I'm like, oh, that's right. I'm like, oh, what time is it? I'm like, saying, it must be midnight. Yeah, it must be midnight. Green Explorer and Left Lane Finds, uh, you know, midnight and 6 a.m. What are they thinking? <laughs> yeah. Like, can't you yeah. start them at like 10 30? And like, then I sit there and I'll watch her video because I'm always <laughs> looking forward to what's up, what is she putting up next? <laughs> You know, and I, I watch her video and um, I sit there and laugh at that. And then I'm thinking, oh, wait a sec. The puppy dog's going to get me up at like 4.30 or something. Oh, no. <laughs> like she's been, she's like having a newborn right now. Um, so, yeah. Talk about a little cuddle bug. Oh, my gosh, that puppy <laughs> dog. She just wants to cuddle all the time. If not, it's cuddle and play. And then so, sleep. And, sleep. And then you think, oh, I can get something done while you're while she's sleeping. It's like, no, you end up sleeping you like taking a mini nap too because she got you up at 4 30 and then again at 6 30 and then you know like it's um my sleep is <laughs> been horrible oh uh, yeah i recently um she was just by a bonfire i'm gonna have a video of that first time with her being by a bonfire oh my god it's adorable Oh, so, see that? See that's something she recorded without me. Yeah, oh, she took the she took the puppy for the did. weekend, <laughs> and so I actually was able to get stuff done at the yes. house. So apparently we you had but, a bonfire. With yes. Her? Oh no, I'm sorry, not bonfire. A a fire a fireplace. She was. Uh, I shouldn't say bonfire. Fireplace. Oh, with the puppy. Oh, oh yes, the with the puppy. Place. So oh, okay. the puppy experienced her first fireplace, and it was her favorite thing, and. What she did was so cute, and I'm going to be posting oh, that video I can't wait to soon. see that. <laughs> yeah. So that's the kind of thing, like, it's one thing to be told about it. It's another thing to watch the video. Yeah, ex so and that's, that's exactly video. why I'm doing it, is, like, there will be a story mentioned, like, oh, yeah, my dog did this. I'm like, my dog did the same thing. Let me show you. And that's why I'm making, you know, my videos, is that way I can go back and show that memory as well. Because a, a description only goes so far. So... <laughs> All right, you guys. All right. Well, I think thank we're gonna, you. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you for hanging out You're with us awesome. and chatting with us. And I always say, whoever's in the chat, if you guys are watching this as a replay, please subscribe to everybody who has a channel. I think, um, and I'm and looking at every, I think everybody who was in the chat tonight has a YouTube channel. Make yes. sure to subscribe to their channel, yes. subscribe to our channels, and we will catch you guys next time. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Bye -bye.